Hey guys, gals, and others. So, this is just a quick, um, I don't know, I was just thinking about this while driving, so I pulled over and thought that I would kind of just put my thoughts, um, <laughs> out there, I guess. Um, so, I was thinking about, I was looking in the mirror, I was adjusting, um, my hair and shit, and just, like, I always have this, I always have to consciously not go, ugh, when I look in the mirror. Um, I have what's called body dysmorphia, and it is uh, basically I've never since the since the, my earliest memories I've always hated the way that I looked. I didn't feel like I belonged in this body. Um, my eyes were too round. My skin was too white. My hair was too blonde. I wasn't supposed to be this person, and it turned into eating disorders, which started around age twelve. And I was finally able to get a hold of uh, myself. Um, I, I went into uh, treatment and then therapy for eating disorders, for having bulimia and anorexia. Uh, and I got a handle on it in my mid-20s. But there hasn't been a day where I have looked in the mirror and liked what I saw. And I feel like my lesson in this life is to get past this mortal you know, because I try in a lot of ways, you know, I try to be enlightened and I try to, um, I guess I, I, I try to love myself and it's very, very difficult. I, I do it now. I do love myself, but, um, it, it, it's been a difficult process and I've really had to work on it. And I have to work on it every day because I get caught up in this rather than the important stuff that's on the inside. Um, not with other people, but with myself because I'm so super, duper critical. Now my point saying this is that I know what it's like to have body dysmorphia. I know what it's like to not, I mean, I, it's mirrors are hard, scales are hard. I just have a really, really difficult time looking at myself. I don't see what others see. I see my faults magnified by about a thousand when I look in the mirror. So I can imagine to a certain extent what gender dysphoria is like because it's the same thing you 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 just you can't love your body your body it's not it's not your body it's not the body that you were supposed to be born into nobody understands that and 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 you feel you don't like being in public you don't like looking in the mirror because this is not who you are supposed to be this is not who you are on the inside and i totally understand that which is why I know for a fact that a lot of these men that are walking around sporting beards and bulges and wearing dresses and saying, I'm a woman, they don't have gender dysphoria. Because if they had gender dysphoria, they would not be able to walk out the door with any facial hair. Um, and they would not be able to walk around sporting that bulge because that bulge is what they hate. They wouldn't be proudly displaying that because that is the direct opposite of what their body is supposed to look like. So gender dysphoria is a very real thing, just like body dysmorphia is. And um, my heart goes out to anyone who has gender dysphoria. But the guys that are trying to squeeze their way into women's spaces, uh, proudly displaying their bulges and facial hair, those are not transgendered women. Those are men who don't have gender dysphoria. Absolutely not, because they would not be able to walk around like that if they did. So that's just my two cents. So I'm gonna go shopping and uh, try not to feel like people are looking at me because I'm so hideous, because that, that is my life, um, believe it or not.